Um, the title of the novel is Lex's Practical Erotica Adventure, which means, of course, that it's about real estate. <laughs> which it is. Um, it's, about, it's a novel about real estate, about New York real estate, and except that um, the women in the novel who are making their way through New York City real estate like to read, right, read and write erotica to each other, kind of like us. Hmm. Uh, in the section that I'm going to read, which is the part about grocery shopping, <laughs> um, Margot has had a really bad day at work. <laughs> and her boyfriend Trevor has come over to cheer her up, not with flowers or soup, but he's brought <laughs> a pair of undulating undies, which is a, something I kind of made up, but should happen. It's essentially a pair of underwear with a small vibrating tip in the cotton crotch that uh, he's holding by remote control. So he wants her to go with him that night to a party wearing, she's wearing the underwear, he's holding the remote control, he's in the, she's not quite ready for that, she wants to do a little test run on the undulating undies. So they go to Zay Bars. <laughs> Start it with the burst, Margot instructed, and then ease off the control between <coughs> like five minute intervals, and then three minute intervals, two minute intervals, push it higher and higher until. Margot, Trevor said, trust me, you will like the feeling of letting go. Okay, okay, I can, I can do that, I, I can think. I, I'm, I'm going to go pretend to shop for bread. Where are you going to be? She asked, but when she turned back, Trevor had already disappeared deep into Zabar's. <laughs> Margot wandered around the bakery section alone, and as she reached up for a loaf of olive-studded bread, she suddenly shouted, TOO HIGH! <laughs> <laughs> Too high! And then she dissolved into a fit of laughter. She looked around <laughs> but he was nowhere to be seen. <laughs> The bread is placed too high on the shelf for me to reach. <laughs> Margo explained to the sweet-faced chubby young clerk in the Darth Vader t-shirt, who had rushed to her aid following her outburst. <laughs> Are you all right? The clerk asked. Yes! Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, I'm fine. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. The bread is just so lovely. <laughs> So she put the bread into her basket and tried to take a step forward. Yeah, that's fresh bread. We're excited about it, too. <laughs> Did you know that bread comes in every morning straight from Vermont? The clerk said to the fascinating Cooper standing in his bakery <laughs> Vermont. Her, the first gentle orgasm hit her belly and... Where's the butter? <laughs> the clerk just pointed. Startled by the glow, this dazzling woman had suddenly begun to admit as if she was lit from within. Your passion for food is inspiration. <laughs> Margot was starting to sway. 
And then suddenly Trevor was behind her and wrapping her all around and up in his arms, and Margaret turned her face to his, to his chest and whispered, Butter, butter, butter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good Lord. Margaret sighed as the last wave washed away, leaving her breathless and lightheaded. Wow, you're so right. I let go and it was... It was... Let's do it again. <laughs> Margaret kissed the glisten and perspiration off her forehead and said, Okie dokie. What should I buy? she asked. Well, they have a display of caviar towards the back. Caviar! You are a genius, Margaret sighed. And do it hard this time. Margaret expected him to hit the button as soon as she walked away. She, she got a little buzz, and then another, and then it stopped. She looked around, ready to give him a happy thumbs-up signal to turn it on again, but Trevor was hiding. Margaret walked past the sardines and the oysters without the slightest tremor. The fish looked good, and so did the cheese, and then she got to the caviar. Oh, God! Marco suddenly shouted. I know, whispered a woman next to her. <laughs> Then they get it straight from Russia. <laughs> Martin began to gasp and hyperventilate in front of the caviar display as Trevor played with the buttons, changing the tempo and intensity of the undulating undies until Marco could do nothing but stand, rigid as a board will all around her. New Yorkers did what New Yorkers will do when they see a compatriot having a deeply personal moment with caviar at Zabar's. <laughs> Some looked at their shoes and kept walking, but others, believing that all art was public art, watched. <laughs> Margot felt her spine in, in, elongating. Her stomach crunched, her head tilted back, and she gasped for breath. Maybe I can help you pick out some caviar, the hopeful young clerk inquired. Yes, Margo answered, and then stopped speaking as the blood gave into gravity and rushed right down and out of her head towards the center as the orgasm picked up speed. And there is so much more. <laughs>